Today we're pitting two GX sets against one another, Force of the Breaker and Power of the Duelist. Time to do, 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 do. What's up guys, we're back with another Versus Battle where we're gonna have two GX sets, both first edition packs. Hopefully we can pull some really awesome ultimate rares, even secret rares out of Force of the Breaker. I think this is gonna be a fun video, but first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this original Blue Eyes Toon Dragon from Magic Ruler. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know if you think Force of the Breaker over here well, Power of the Duelist over here is going to win. What do you guys think? All right, we recently did a video with Crossroads of Chaos. I don't know if you guys have seen that yet, but I'm going to try and put them in order because it was pretty, pretty bad. So I'm hoping we got these from the same source. If these are terrible too, could be a little weird, but I'm expecting that these are going to be fire. They're going to make up for it. 15 of each pack, so a 30-pack opening. Let's go. See, look, this is, this is what I'm saying. This is kind of open here, so I don't know what's going on with that, but we're going to find out if we pull ultimate rares, then I will think we're fine. We got to pull something because... In the last video, we pulled nothing. It was terrible. But sometimes when you open Crossroads of Chaos, actually most of the time, you get nothing. So maybe it was just a Crossroads of Chaos thing and not a Force of the, or not a uh, where we got them from thing. Let's go. We got a Dweller in the Depths. We got to believe. Otherworld in the A Zone. Volcanic Recharge, Rux and Special. We got a Hard Cell and Zombie. There's two different ones. There's Zombie and then there's Goblin. Got to remember that. Gravity Cuss Dragon. We got the Wildfire. Last Resort. Cut my. Okay, there's a Super Rare. Wait, that's a Super, right? I think this is a super. This is a super, but you can barely tell. Like, look at this. You can barely see it right there on those little, like, armor pieces thing. That's the only place you can see it. That is the very... One of the faintest supers. That is rivaling Big Burn from IOC. You can barely tell that's a foil. Almost none of it is foil. It's so, so casual. All right, okay. Super right off the bat. Good start. That's actually a fantastic start, though. After how the last one started, this is great. So, hopefully we can... Step it up and have a much better video here. I'm recording these back to back, by the way. Just, just gonna let you guys know that I'm recording these back to back because I just could not end on after that last video. It was rough. Fake Hero, Black Stego, Brainwashing Beam. We got the Alien Hunter. We got a Ruxin Special. Synthetic Seraphim, Elemental Hero Neos, Orbital Bombardment. We have a D Spirit and a Submarine Roid. I do like this card, but. It's just a rare, so nothing too crazy there. These Force of the Breaker blisters are way bigger than those Crots with the Chaos ones. Look at how all of these are like this. It's kind of weird how, like, the sticker's pulled up and this is, like, kind of loose. Is that not a little weird? I don't know. I don't know why that would happen. Maybe it's just because they bend at that area and that where they bend. Yeah, that would, that would make sense because they bend there because there's no, like, pack to keep it there. Yeah, we'll, we'll look at it in a second. I think that that makes sense, actually, for that to happen. Okay. Force of the Breaker. Well, I think it was four from the back, actually. Okay, we got the Volcanic Recharge. Cool. Crystal Beast, Ruby Carbuncle. The Crystal Beast to go with our Crystal Beast. Um, whatever Revenge. I think we're actually going to be opening more cases, guys. I've finally given in. I think we're going to get more. Crystal Promise. Volcanic Scatter Shot. So keep an eye out if you guys want to see a giant case opening. Pulling that left arm. Wildfire. Last Resort. Cutting my life into pieces. Crystal Beast. Amber Mammoth. And we have a... Miss Arch Vita Secret Rare! Let's go! Okay, they're making up for it. They're making up for it. A Secret Rare Mist Arch Fiend. Not a card that's that great. This is a Secret Rare, by the way. If You can, you can barely tell on these cards. It's kind of weird. Okay, that is actually... I mean, not a great card, but it's a Secret Rare. So, okay. I'm happy. I'm happy so far. We're making up for it. These Power of the Duelist packs, we pulled a lot of Supers last time, so I'm expecting some higher rarities in this one. One, two, three, four gotta believe blade master he's the master of the blade common soul destiny mirage rux and special mausoleum of the emperor orbital bombardment wonder garage elemental hero neos d spirit and we have dark city he's the darkest of cities okay force of the breaker so far a big lead because they got two foils one of them being a secret rare which is probably worth at least i mean in first dead gotta be at least like 10 bucks probably even more than that uh, even if it's not a great card, a first dead secret rare from Force of the Breaker, it's probably going to be a decent amount. Come on, let's do it again. Let's pull an ultimate rare. That'd be crazy. Terrible deal. Dwell in the depths. Cards we want to pull from here from Force of the Breaker. I believe the set came out in 2007, by the way. We want to get that Ryza ultimate rare. We want to get that cover card, the Doom Fire Dragon, I believe the name is, ultimate rare. So those are big hits. Recharge, Gym Flash Energy, Breakthrough. Also, isn't the, uh, the trap card, Deck Devastator Virus, in here? I think it is as an ultimate rare. And... Oh, Blazing Sun. Oh, wait, no, that's a common. Oh, wait, it's the next card. It's the next card. Topaz Tiger. All right, Topaz Tiger got the rare slot. Okay. Power of the Duelist, you're up next. Let's go. 
Gotta believe. In the heart of the cards it will guide us to three, four. Here we go. Sabersaurus, Destiny Hero Defender, Common Soul, Ambulance Roid, Baby Sarasaurus, Contact, Wonder Garage, Rescue Roid, and a just a rare supercharge. Oh my gosh, so many rares out of power of the duelist today, including that last video. Here we go. Okay, so wait, this one got written on. It was two dollars now. Okay, so these were twenty-five percent off to two ninety-nine. Then they got cut to two dollars. So people really wanted to sell these. Force of the Breaker first ad. You don't get to open this set very often, and by you, I mean anybody. I don't get to open it very often. Really, nobody does. It's a pretty rare set. You don't see it very often, especially first at one, two, three, four. Look at the centering on the back of these cards. It's terrible. We have a volcanic scatter shot. He's scattering the crystal Rygeki, Secrets of the Gallant, Volcanic Blaster, Blaze Accelerator, Mass Hypnosis, Mikau, Master of the Barriers. We got a Crystal Blessing, and we have Go Go the Gallant Ninja. All right, Power of the Duelist so far, nothing. So we start off hot with Force of the Breaker. Nothing so far for Power of the Duelist. Is now the time to pull something good? One, two, three, four. We have Rallis the Starbird, Sabersaurus, Black Stego, Destiny Hero Defender, Contact. Contact? Yeah, Contact. Crystal's Dolphin. Why did I why was I confused about that? Rescue Roy, Destiny Hero Fearmonger. Is it the next card? It is. Destiny Hero Dogma again. All right, another Dogma. Super rare. There's not a lot of supers in this set, actually. So uh, you tend to pull the same ones over and over. I think there's seven supers and four ultras. So there's really only 11 different foils. And then they're like ultis. This just broke. That's weird. Yeah, that's true with Power of the Duelist. There's not a lot of foils at all. So you get some, you get a lot of repeats. That's why you get like ultimate rares and super rares in the same like opening, usually like of the same card. Because there's not really that many options. So it's pretty likely to happen. Let's go. Dweller in the depths. Come on. Otherworld in the A zone. Volcanic recharge. Crystal Beast Ruby Carbuncle. We got a Ruxin special. Oh, I still can't put it back. Cut my life into. We got the Amber Mammoth. We got the Crystal Abundance. Hard selling Goblin, not the zombie. And we have Crystal Beast Topaz Tiger at it again. Okay, a lot of time for Power of the Duelist. Don't worry, there's got to be something here, right? Maybe. I'm hoping there is. I don't know that there is. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Mausoleum of the Emperor, Bite Lawn, Ambulance Roid, Decoy Roid, D Spirit, Flying, sign, blah, 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 flying Saucer, I cannot say that, Baby Sarasaurus, Crystal's Dolphin, and we have a Destiny Hero Double Dude. We have pulled, now, okay, this is a different video, but in the same sitting, I've pulled two Dogma and two Double Dude. <laughs> Makes sense for Double Dude, not necessarily Dogma, though. Okay, marked out the uh, was $3.99, just says 25% off now. There was all kinds of stuff going on with these packs. Can we get a Doomfire Dry? That would be such a cool pull. Let's go. Ryza would be insane. Deck Devastation is like 300, 400 bucks. It's crazy expensive. There's a lot of great cards in here that we could pull. A lot of forgotten cards in Force of the Breaker. We have Terrible Deal. Okay. Dweller in the Depths. Otherworld DA Zone. Volcanic Recharge. Hard Cell and Zombie, not Goblin. We got the Dragon. Wildfire. Last Resort. And we have Archfiend General. Power of the Duelist, first dead, GX opening. It started well. It has definitely slowed down quite a bit. We haven't pulled anything big since the Mist Archfiend, but I mean, honestly, that's a pretty good pull. We're hoping for something else, though. Something big. An ultimate rare. Royal Writ of Taxation. Royal Writ. I can never say that right. Royal Writ. It's very hard. Alien Skull. Rallis of Starbird. Ambulance Roid. Flying Saucer. The Paths of Destiny. D Spirit. Wonder Garage, and we have Dark City. I don't know if there's any foils that are magic or trap cards uh, in Power of the Duelist, so every time I see that, I'm like, eh, okay, not great. Okay, Force of the Breaker, let's go. I believe in you. You can do this, first edition. Give us an amazing pull that we will never forget. Let's put it in the highlights, come on. Let's get a highlight pull, that'd be sick. I'm down for it. One, two, three, four. We pulled a Harpy Queen recently, which was pretty awesome. A Cell Breeding Device, Volcanic Hammerer, Terrible Deal, Dweller in the Depths, Wildfire, Last Resort, Crystal Beast Amber Mammoth, Crystal Abundance, and Ancient City Rainbow Ruins. This is actually a very expensive card. Actually, if it's an ultimate rare, it's pretty crazy. Maybe even in the rare form, I'm not sure. Ooh, Power of the Duel stuff. Also, I should mention, these are Hobby Power of the Duels. Force of the Breaker actually doesn't have Hobby Retail. It's actually both, always. So it's like a Euro pack, basically. So we can get any of them. What in the world? Oh, we got a flipped card weird one two three four maybe that's a good sign destiny hero defender was upside down we got the blade master common soul destiny mirage paths of destiny orbital bombardment wonder garage elemental hero neos 
and a supercharge another supercharge come on man force of the breaker fotb let's go give us something good man so we've got several packs. We're probably halfway through at this point. This is going to be a decently long opening because 30 packs is a decent amount, especially when it's old school and I'm like not rushing through them, taking my time. One, two, three, four. Whew, Crystal Promise. Let's go. Volcanic Scattershot. Crystal Rygeki. Secrets of the Gallant. Wildfire. Last Resort. Crystal Beast Amber Mammoth. Crystal Abundance. A lot of crystals. Harpy Queen. There it is. The Harpy Queen's not an ultimate rare, which, I mean, that's a big ultimate rare if we got that one, but cool rare as well. Let's do the Power of the Duelist pack. We got time. We could still pull some good stuff. We started off so hot. I was feeling good about this opening, and now I'm not feeling as good. I'm feeling a little more worried. We got the Brainwashing Beam, Alien Hunter, Common Soul, Sabersaurus, Orbital Bombardment, D-Spirit, Chrysalis Dolphin. We've got Black Terra and another magic card it's always a magic or trap so i can't even get hyped i'm like uh, okay just a magic or trap card nothing crazy here at least in force of breaker there's actually magic and trap cards that are crazy so because like trap card i think it's i think the deck devastations in here then ancient city rainbow ruins there's a lot of crazy stuff and i don't even remember half of them so that means anything's possible the problem with power of the duelist is i know all the cards so i know you know if it's going to be something good or not not necessarily it's going to be but like if it's a magic card i know it's probably not something good phil beer let's go amethyst cat backs to the wall a cell breeding device, Maycow Master of Barriers, Crystal Blessing, Hard Selling Zombie, not the Goblin. We got the Gravity Crush Dragon and Triggered Summon. The summon is triggered. Okay, back to Pote. Now I always want to call this Pote, P O T D, I should say. Pote is a different good set, a much better set actually. when it comes to playability, one, two, three, four. Come on, guys. Royal Writ of Taxation, Rallus the Starbird, Sabersaurus, Black Stego. Contract, contact, I keep wanting to say contract. Dolphin, Amos Rescue Roid, Destiny Hero Fearmonger. Can it, can it just be a monster or a fusion? Okay. Dasher, okay. I mean, that's better than one of the spell and traps, I guess. Dasher Ultimate Rare would be pretty sick, but we can't get that right now because uh, this is a re or a hobby pack. He is a retail open, or a retail rare, I should say. So we can't open it out of this pack. So let's go Force of the Breaker. This one is different, though, because we can open anything out of this Force of the Breaker pack. So it's a little bit different there. Uh, this pack is disintegrating before our eyes. Move that over there. Okay, one, two, three. Here comes the Rise of Ultimate Rare. Terrible deal. Dweller in the Depths, Otherworld, the A-Zone, Wildfire, Gravity Crush Dragon, Wildfire, Double Wildfire, that's weird. Last Resort. That, what? Why did that show up? Second. Did I only do three? Diablo's King of the Abyss, Secret Rare? That card has some sweet art. Okay. Big Bull, I don't know the value, but I do know it looks awesome. Check that dude out. That is a sick card. So I must have done the pack trick wrong or something because he came up second to last. I wasn't expecting him to be there. Two secret rares out of the Force of the Breaker. That's it's gonna be tough for Power of the Duelist now. Really what we need though is an ultimate rare out of Power of the Duelist. So far we have not pulled one. It's been pretty rough. Let's see if we can pull one here. One, two, three, four, gotta believe. We have Common Soul, Ambulance Roid, Fake Hero, Black Stego, Wonder Garage, Rescue Roid, Synthetic Seraphim, Elemental Hero Neos, and we have a Trap Guard, Cyber Summon Blaster. <laughs> Every time, man. Okay, Force the Breaker time. Let's do this. Here we go. Gotta believe. One, two, three, four. So far, it's been a great opening for FOTB, to be honest. Okay, that card is not wanting to stay. Hopefully, that means it's something good. Field Barrier, Crystal Beast Amethyst Cat, Backs to the Wall, A Cell Breeding Device, Crystal Beast Emerald Tortoise, Crystal Beacon. Crystal Beast Cobalt Eagle, so many Crystal Beasts. Gym Flash Energy is the next card. It is a super rare Sky Scourge Norlaris. When I saw 2400, I was like, rise it, rise it, rise it. It wasn't. Okay, still a lot of packs to go. Power of the Duelist has honestly pulled two super rares, and that's it. So these have not been great. Uh, they have not been good at all. We haven't pulled an Ultra. We haven't pulled an Ulti. And we're talking back to the last video, too. So it's been pretty rough. We just need to pull something big. Let's go. Decoy Roid. It's a decoy. Mausoleum of the Emperor. Miracle Jurassic Egg, Alien Skull, Flying Saucer, with the Elemental Hero Neos, Wonder Garage, Baby Sarasaurus, and Neo Space. So many Magic and Trap cards in the rare slot. All right, we have eight packs total left, four of each in our opening. It's been fun so far. Force of the Breaker has been killing it. They've had two secret rares. Somehow we have not pulled an ultimate rare out of 30 packs of the GX set, which is like the most, like one of the easiest rarities to pull. It's easier than the ultra rares, which is hilarious. So we haven't done that on either pack. One, two, three, four. Let's pull something else. Let's make it a ultimate rare. Seismic Crasher. Field Barrier. 
Crystal Beast Amethyst Cat, Backs to the Wall, Magna Slash Dragon, Blaze Accelerator, Mass Hypnosis, Koi Ki Meow, Meow, Master of the Barriers, and Tri Blaze Accelerator, another foil, super rare. Force of the Breaker is now, it's accelerating out the foils. How about that? It is insane. That's a lot of foils so far. POTD is not accelerating the foils. Let me say that. It is not accelerating the foils at all. One, two, three, four, but now's the time. It can start now. Alien Skull, Royal Writ, Sabersaurus, Destiny Hero Defender, v -Croy Connection Zone, Fossil Excavation, Baby Sarasaurus, Contact, and Neo Spatian Dark Panther Super Rare. So we are pulling supers, but that's about it. We finally got a foil, though. I guess we can't complain there. The score right now is probably a complete beatdown in Force of the Breaker's favor, but there's still time. If we pull that uh, Chimera Attack, that Dark Neos, you know, a Flare Neos, those are pretty big. That can make it where it completely turns the tables. The turns have tabled. Force of the Breaker. Uh, right now, I want you to keep piling on, keep pulling great cards. We want one ultimate rare. Come on. One, two, three, four. Let's do it. It is Ruby Carbuncle, Crystal Promise, Crystal Raigeki, Secrets of the Gallant, Muikau, Master of the Barriers, Crystal Blessing, Heart Cell and Zombie, Not the Goblin, Grab and Crush Dragon, and we have a Gravekeeper's Commandant. Another card that's pretty cool in Ultimate Rare. Force of the Breaker just has a lot of cool Ultimate Rares that are like, they're kind of average, but they're also just like kind of cool at the same time. They're not like the huge hits, but they're just, if you get them, you're like, these are kind of cool. One, two, three, four. Pote or Pot, I called it Pote like 20 times. He's probably edited it out like half the time. Power of the Duelist has been bad. Uh, Bite Lawn, Fossil Excavation. Come on, Alien Gray. Come on, D-Spirit. We have to pull something. Yes! Finally, an ultimate rare, a Destiny Hero Dogma. And this card's worth over 100 bucks, so, or maybe around 100 bucks. This is definitely a great pull. We will take that. Destiny Hero Dogma. Finally, something good for Power of the Duelist. We can rejoice. Did that put them ahead of Force of the Breaker? It could have. I really don't know the price on those first Dead Seeker rares, so we're going to have to see how much those are worth. Could be getting close now. Or Power of the Duelist could be ahead. I don't know. Two packs to go on each side. Force of the Breaker. It's your time to pull a big ultimate rare. Let's go. Hard Cylind Goblin right at the front. One, two, three, four. I believe we have Crystal Promise. Volcanic Scattershot, Crystal Raigeki, Secrets of the Gallant. There's the Goblin. We got the Emerald Tortoise, Crystal Beacon, Crystal Beast, Cobalt Eagle, and we have the Zeradius, Herald of the Heaven. It's all these cards that are 2100. You pitch to get the field spell. That was the Force of the Breaker thing for some reason. All right, two more Power of the Duelist. We finally got an Ultimate Rare. Wow, it has been... A lot of packs to finally get one. One, two, three, four. I'm glad we finally did, though. Destiny Mirage, Blade Master. Come on, Crop Circles. Let's get another one. Rouse of Starbird, back to back. Black Terra, Synthetic Seraphim, Rescue Roid, Alien Gray, and. Oh, I saw the fusion. I was like, oh. Super Vehicle, Jumbo Drill. It's another foil. It's adding to the tally. Unfortunately, not the big fusions. One pack left of each in this GX head to head battle. Come on, Force the Breaker. Let's go. Let's see what we can pull. Will it be epic? Will it be awesome? It's already been a pretty epic opening for FOTB. Let's see if we can get the Doom Fire. Not Doom Caliber. Doom Fire Dragon. There's another goblin right at the front. One, two, three, four. Gotta believe. Ultimate rare. Here we go. Seismic Crasher. Field Barrier. Crystal Beast Amethyst Cat. Backs to the Wall. Hard Selling Goblin. Tortoise. Crystal Beacon. Crystal Beast Cobalt Eagle. And... Lucky Iron Axe, just a rare to end it. Lucky Iron Axe, no big deal. It was a great opening out of there. Power of the Duelist, can you end it well? This has definitely been a better video than the Crossroads of Chaos video. Certainly better packs than in the Force of the Breaker side. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Can we get another ulti to end it? We have Alien Hunter, Brainwashing Beam. I don't know the score right now. It'll pop up on the screen. Black Stego, Fake Hero. I don't know if they need it or if they're ahead. Black Terra, Bombardment, Rescue Roid, Fearmonger and a Cosmic Horror Gengie. All right, here is the final tally of how we did Force the Breaker versus Power of the Duel. It's definitely a much better video than that other versus we did recently. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trust of Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, James Jance, Frankie Martinez, and Unatai Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.